Hello everybody, this is Matt with the Low Cash Homestead and today we have another aquaponics project and I've never built one of these before so I had to do a little reading but apparently this is white EPS expanded polystyrene and this is chemically inert according to the reading that I've done. So what I'm going to do is I have eight little uh, containers up here and I've already set this piece of EPS into the tank to make sure that it was going to float. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to trace all of these and I'm just going to cut out some holes and just try to get these bottoms barely down in the water. Hey everybody, this is Matt with Low Cash Homestead. So I cut the holes out of this EPS and these are some recycled plants. Please don't do that. I got my little two year old who wants to grab everything. Yes, you can hold that. Um, and so I just cut the holes here and then, hey, can daddy see that for a minute? And I just use this Husky um, jab saw. This is actually one of the best jab saws I've ever had. Uh, it's got a nice little edge for getting into the drywall and stuff, but it works great for cutting styrofoam. So I use this Husky jab saw to cut it out. Now, I can give you it's this. A but saw? You know, it's a saw, but it's dangerous if you're not careful. So keep it away from your sister. So uh, now that we've cut those pieces out, I'm going to make sure it still floats. It's a saw. Okay, so we cut the holes. Uh, it's got eight pots in it, and it's still floating right here. It's still floating right here. So it seems to work. Uh, I got uh, another little piece like that. We're going to build another raft to go behind the coffee tree. And we'll do that and be back. Hi, everybody. This is Matt with the Low Cash Homestead. We have our second raft made. And it should be noted, these aren't these are just regular pots. They've actually got dirt in them. I was growing these in a different type of wicking system. I was growing these in a different type of wicking system. I was actually growing these in the gutter grow before I put the gravel and hydroton and everything in it. So now I need to put them somewhere else. So now they're gonna be floating around inside of our coffee tank. This is Matt with Low Cash Homestead. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, this is Matt with Low Cash Homestead. So something I've already noticed is that the fish are nibbling the little root strands out of the uh, bottom of the pot. I think that'll actually be good because it should. Oh, hugs. Hugs. oh yes, hugs. Oh good, hugs. Oh yes. It should actually help um, keep generating new, new root hairs. And then the other thing we did is we had this shelf that I had mounted for something else and I never took it down. And so I added two more of those lights. This is a 3000K. This is a 6500K. Yes, they are pretty far away from the lettuce. Hi, guys. Kisses. Kisses? Okay. Kisses. 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 Yes, kisses. Good. So they are actually pretty far away from the plants. I'm not really going to stress on it too much right now. Um, Basically, I had all this lettuce and stuff kind of left over, and I took it out of one project because I was moving to uh, planting some seeds in there, and now I had something to do with them, so I just built this real quick. Hey guys, uh, mommy's sleeping, go play in the back. Okay, so this light here has a uh, 5,000 Kelvin Cree four flow daylight bulb in it. And I actually have a little bracket that I started painting. It's left over from a, a water bed. I keep hardware. You never know when you're gonna need it. This is one of those cases. So I dug through my box of hardware junk, found this little bracket. It's rusty. So I'm gonna put a couple coats of paint on it and we're gonna mount that like somewhere in here so I can shine this light down on what's left. This is Matt with the Low Cash Homestead. Thank you very much. Have a good day.